For many people, exploring the Costa Rican rainforest at night can be a terrifying prospect. Nightfall conjures up images of alien creatures with malicious intentions, but if we've learned anything in our years of studying wildlife, it's that fear is often rooted in misunderstanding. Tonight, we're going to get you up close with three beautiful arachnids, animals that most people fear, and show you how fascinating and inoffensive they really are. Our search will not take us deep into the rainforest tonight. In fact, all three of these amazing invertebrates can be found right near our house. The first arachnid on our list is probably the most recognizable, the tarantula. So this guy here is a little tarantula. We found him out here night harping. And we're not actually sure which species this is, but he is rather a small one. And we've been seeing a couple tarantulas, but this is the first one we've been able to catch. Now I am holding him very gently, but I'm not pinning his legs, so I'm not doing him any harm. Now tarantulas are actually not animals we want to be afraid of. These guys are super important, and he would be out here eating a lot of the insects, moths and crickets and cockroaches and things like that. And I'm hoping, maybe if I put him on the ground here, if he will just relax a little bit, kind of sit here for us so we don't have to hold him. What do you think, buddy? Perfect. So this guy is a New World Tarantula, which means that he's found in the Americas, and one thing that all New World Tarantulas have are urticating hairs. Now if you see on his abdomen there, he has all those really long, coarse guard hairs. And those are his urticating hairs, which basically means he's able to kick them off of his abdomen, and they're extremely irritating to anything if it gets into their mouth or their eyes. But he actually has not been kicking off hairs. He's being very relaxed for us, which is exactly what we want because we want to be able to show you these guys and how nice and calm they really are. Look at that. He's not going to hurt any. Oh, there he goes. Finding a tarantula was absolutely incredible, but we have a lot more exploring to do tonight. The next arachnid on our list is truly one of the most alien-looking creatures we've ever featured. Get ready to meet one of the rainforest's most well-evolved predators, the tailless whip scorpion. What did you find? We have a tailless whip scorpion. There's one right here. There's actually another one down there. Oh. No way. And we have our friend T. Oh look, another bark scorpion too. There are tons of invertebrates out here tonight. All right, are I'm you gonna, gonna try and catch I'm that guy? I'm gonna try and catch this guy. Got him. Oh, you got him! Now look at this. See his pedipalps going? He's going absolutely nuts right now. Now they're not dangerous, are they? They're not, not to humans anyway. Oh, <laughs> Senor Gato just, oh, you ruined the shot. Did he really? Senor, what are you doing? We're trying to film here, buddy. Got him. Got him? Nice. All right, let's get him in front of the camera. Now what we have here is a tailless whip scorpion. Now these guys are really cool. They're actually not scorpions, but they are very closely related. They are another species of arachnid. Now they're very strange looking. They're incredibly flat with these very long legs. Oh. He's getting old. Is he okay? Oh yeah, he's fine. I'm not actually squeezing him at all. I'm just keeping him here so that you guys can see him. Now, right up front, he has those two pedipalps. Those are just used to shovel food into his mouth. And he also has, I don't know if you can see him, but he has these really long, wiry legs. And those are basically his antenna. They're modified front limbs that he uses to feel kind of what's going on around him. He has eyes right there on the top of his head. They're incredibly alien looking, but a very awesome species. So we're gonna let him get back to his little log here, see what else is out here tonight. Finally, it's time to set our sights on fulfilling a childhood dream, catching a scorpion in the wild. We have loved scorpions ever since we were young. Something about their bizarre appearance and incredible morphology has always fascinated us. Luckily, it didn't take us long at all to track down a stunning specimen. What do you got there, Brian? So this is the Central American Bark Scorpion. Now he goes by a couple names. This, oh, there he goes, there he goes. Check that out, we gotta catch him. All right, sit still, sit still. I wanna see if I can grab him by his tail. Got him. All right, so this guy here is the Central American Bark Scorpion, also sometimes called the Black Clawed Scorpion, because you can see that coloration on his pedipalps there. It's very dark. Now this species is a bark scorpion, which means they are excellent 
at climbing. These guys can be found all over the walls and trees out here in Costa Rica. We actually found them right under a little leaf while we're out here night herping. And as you can see, we are completely free handling this species. This is a bark scorpion. He does have a stinger. You can maybe zoom in on that if he'll stand still for us. But as long as we apply no pressure, we don't even breathe on him. We just let him crawl where he wants to go. He's just climbing me right now. They pose us no threat whatsoever. Ooh, come here. Check that out. These are not animals that we have to be afraid of. Rather, we want to respect them for how awesome they are. I don't blame people for being afraid of arachnids. They're vastly different from ourselves in almost every way, and that makes them hard to relate to sometimes. But there is one thing I'd like to call your attention to that I think gives some important perspective. Exactly like us, arachnids are simply using the tools they have to make a living for themselves. The creatures we've met tonight are evolutionary marvels, their adaptations refined over millions of years. They're not aliens, they're morphological masterpieces, perfectly adapted for their habitats. They belong here, just as we do. If we learn to think of arachnids as unique animals with well-defined roles in their ecosystems, rather than creepy, purposeless monsters, then maybe we'll be one step closer to fully appreciating them and getting rid of our fear. If you want to meet some more incredible rainforest denizens who live alongside these arachnids, check out this video where we feature some of Costa Rica's most famous insects. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.